Well, it could be a rainy start to the State Fair of Texas, and trouble is brewing in the Gulf. Right. Those things might be related, too. So, okay. Carla, let's talk about what this means for us. They kind of are, and I'll take the exhausted emoji for all of this <laughs> going on. Uh, ask a meteorologist in North Texas now after the last couple months. Everything all of a sudden last night. How about those thunderstorms this morning? We'll get to those and run through a loop. First, the latest the Hurricane Center just about 30 minutes ago has now named this potential tropical cyclone nine again. Fancy wording just meaning they expect it now to become probably tropical storm and now projected to become Hurricane Helene this week. We'll talk about it. There it is now. Let's show you the latest and why this is going to intensify. First of all, in the dark red there in the Atlantic is the main development region. There's been too much dust. There's been too too much shear for a couple months, not enough development really was able to take shape here in the Caribbean, though. Take a look. That's the main storm on the map. This is now nine and you can see it's one of the primary storms that you can see on this whole half of the globe. And right now it's running through water of 84 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit only need 80 degrees to sustain or build a tropical cyclone. Let's zoom in closer as that moves into the Gulf. It's going to run into very weak wind shear. So that's why now it's projected to become a category two storm. Here's the latest on 3D. You kind of see this core developing, this separate core from all the thunderstorm activity to the south. This is going to insulate itself, and I think it could get, get its act together in the Western Caribbean before entering the Gulf. Here's the latest track. It should become a category one hurricane by Wednesday morning. The latest track has it become in a category two. Okay could potentially reach major status with that much time in the Gulf. We'll see, but this will stay well off to the east, but it does affect us in an interesting way. We'll get to that in one moment. Let's go over to the weather maps and talk about this rain we first had this morning. Look at this time lapse. OK, over the last 12 hours. Watch this. It was a busy morning as that front pushed through showers and thunderstorms and some heavy rain in spots. Look at that finally clearing. Look at the low cloud deck here, too. That's pretty cool. Let's go right to radar and show you the front has really stalled right over us. So all the rain is trapped south and east of this front now sitting over us, and it was much heavier than this earlier this morning. OK, but the heaviest rain now remaining Waxahachie down towards Ennis, the 45 corridor uh, over towards the I-20 corridor towards the east. So Dallas and Tarrant County is done with the exception of southern Dallas County at this point. Let's go over the past 12 hours on a slower loop. Storms kind of petering out and then watch them reintensify after midnight. Look at this a little swirl up here in Collin County. Look how they just picked up intensity along the front. What they did there is they tapped into instability and spots that hadn't seen rain in a long time. So warm, unstable air southeast of the Metroplex at 3, 4 a.m. And they lined up along the front. One more time here. Watch that 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Look how heavy those were. And in some cases, some decent wind gusts, too. So those were some loud thunderstorms in part, especially up in Collin County with that kind of that vortex that moved through on the northern sides. Quite a bit of lightning and thunder this morning. Let's take high res future cast from this point forward. Front stalls and moves further south and east. Cloud cover could actually clear by eight or nine o'clock tonight. But then, as we've been talking about, as that upper low dips from Canada, here comes another surface cold front on Wednesday. I think Tuesday late in the evening through Wednesday morning with this scattered showers and thunderstorms in play. One more thing here. Here's that upper low. The hurricane Helene will likely wrap around that and we'll have to watch and see that brings rain chances as we head in towards Friday, the first official day of the state fair.